If you don't recognize this place, this is my new kind of home office. I moved house. What's going on guys, it's Will Patson here again with a new video and today I'm going to be talking to you all about what I want to see in the new iPad Pro coming this year in 2018. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. So one of the first things that I want to see in the new iPad Pro is it to have a thinner bezel. If you don't know what the bezel is, it's kind of that border around the iPad Pro or the iPad or the iPhone that you have. We all like thinner bezels because it gives us a more immersive display. Now there's a channel that's called Zone of Tech that I follow all the time for new Apple updates and everything else. It's a great channel, I'll link it below. And he talks about how the iPad Pro is going to take a lot of its inspiration from the iPhone X. Now I obviously have the iPhone X and I love it. I got it on its launch day, I got it sent out here, I bought it outright on Apple. Uh, it's just an amazing phone. It isn't worth the price, but it's an amazing phone. Now the only problem that I'm seeing with the new Apple iPad Pro that's going to be coming out this year is that I want to have a bigger display something that can actually you know I can draw on a lot easier now I got the 12.9 inch iPad Pro both times in both of the launches now I like that screen I can't go for the 10.5 inch or the 9.7 I have to go for the 12.9 but I would like to see 13.5 inch screen or something slightly bigger and they can do that by extending or minimizing the bezel. Again, the only problem with that is that it's probably gonna have a notch at the top and there is no reason to have that notch other than Apple basically having a design flaw in there so that people can identify the phone when you're using it. Something that I would love to see is to get rid of that home button as well. That home button is so annoying. And you can see that Apple are trying to get rid of that home button by adding new touch gestures to the iPad so you can control it in multitasking and everything else. Now, we do not need the home button because we've got Face ID now, so we don't even need Touch ID. And the only other problem that I'm sort of seeing in the community when it comes around the iPad Pro or what's gonna be in there for a new iPad Pro is the fact that it won't have an OLED display. Obviously, the iPhone 10 has an OLED display, but they are having troubles getting the amount of these OLED displays manufactured from Samsung because obviously Samsung have got a bunch of phones of themselves that they need to manufacture with OLED displays. So I think Apple will have some of the design elements of an iPhone 10, so you know the thinner bezels and everything else, but I don't think it will have the OLED display just because it doesn't make sense for them to have that there. It'll just raise the price too much and it's already a thousand pounds or I think like $1,200 or something like that. But my most wanted feature of the new iPad Pro this year is really one of the accessories that they use, which is the Apple Pencil. I wanna see a new Apple Pencil. The Apple Pencil is absolutely amazing, and on the new iPad Pro in 2017, they brought out that 120 hertz screen, so you're flying around in like ridiculous frame rate speed, and it looks so smooth, and the Apple Pencil's latency was lowered, but I would love to see a new Apple Pencil with maybe different color options like white and black, with that as well. I'd love to see more functionality with the pencil too, see if you can actually add new nibs to the tip of the pencil because they are removable. And I'd also like to see more technology to make it look more realistic or a new way of actually engaging with the iPad with the Apple Pencil, whether that's some sort of Bluetooth technology or something else. But purely from a drawing standpoint, I would just love to see a new updated version of the Apple Pencil, meaning it would be a lot quicker or it would you know, have different nibs or a different color or some sort of technology that I haven't even thought of inside of it. So I'm super excited for everything else that Apple are gonna be bringing out to the iPad Pro this year. It would be awesome to see a more streamlined product coming out this year with a new design to the iPad Pro or maybe just a new internals to make it even quicker or a new way of actually gesturing on the iPad to see what happens when you're drawing. I would also love to see, and this is probably a really strange thing that I would love to see in the new iPad, is Apple's own drawing app. I use Procreate as my main drawing app, and obviously I use Photoshop Sketch as well, but I would love to see Apple create something that is their own app for sketching. Now, Notes, when they first brought out the iPad and in the Notes app, you could draw inside it. They had a ruler in there that was amazing. Procreate needs to have a ruler in their app 
because Adobe Sketch is the only one that I know of that actually has a ruler and all these other smart objects that you can trace around. But I would love to see Apple come up with a new drawing software to see what happens and just to generally try it out. It would be interesting to see if they can innovate something better than Photoshop Sketch or something better than Procreate as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's a bit different because I'm in a new room. Obviously, I'm at home right now and I thought I would go to the office and film, but I thought about changing the channel up this year, you know, going out and doing different things and bring you along with me. Speaking of doing different things, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is a website provider where you can build your own website, whether you're a blogger, a designer with a need to have a portfolio, or just someone who wants their own website to promote yourself on. Squarespace is really easy to set up. They've got amazing themes and you can click in the link in the description to my personal website where I sell my brushes, I do blog posts, I get my clients on there, it has a contact button, I share my portfolio on there and everything. Squarespace is really cheap and affordable to do all those things and you don't have to be a design wizard to actually create something that looks amazing. If you'd like 10% off Squarespace, then click that link down below and it will give you 10% off. And I think there's a coupon down there as well for you there. And also for anyone who is like a hardcore fan of this channel, thank you so much for watching these videos. If you haven't noticed, some of the view counts have been substantially lower than they used to be a month ago. And the reason behind this, I think, is because the YouTube notifications have changed again. So the subscription box has changed to more of a highlighted box so they get channel highlights in there and the notification bell doesn't really work. So if you want to be notified of any videos that I post, make sure you press that notification bell and that you subscribe, which is always free. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which are linked down below and I'll be posting on there every time a new video is uploaded. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. See you soon.